Hi and welcome back to a YouTube video of mine. This today we are unboxing the Tronxy S5 something. I can't remember exactly what letters it is, but it's something. <laughs> I've just taken it undone the tape with the uh, get the tape off first, so I don't have to make too much noise. I've been saving up for this for quite a long time. It's not like I fucking afford everything straight away. There's a the packaging. Let's get on um, with the thing. We get a piece of paper. It's a Tronxy X5SA. Eat bread, instructions, just a bloody. If, that, if that's what you call instructions, it's not very good. You've got a test sample, it's probably PLA plastic what we're using we have a UK power plug we have ooh this time I get a set of tools got a screwdriver a bolt a small screwdriver some clips for the bed spanner allen keys or hex wrenches, depending where you are. We get some laser cut motor mounts. We get a 3D printed bracket of some sort. I will be upgrading the motor mounts to metal. Don't worry about that. We have the power supply with a laser cut acrylic plastic around it and on the back as well so there's no dodgy wiring just that bit on there, that's all which we'll find out what that is today but later on through the, the build videos when I start doing upload the build, build videos some more packaging for the bed wow this is really big We have a drag chain on the on the heat bed. We get a uh, standard USB thing cable. Let's get this. It's really heavy as well. The um, the misters located just there on the side which I will be locating another one in the centre so I can get a better heat this thing on it. I've got a drag chain as well which I nearly dropped. We've got some printed looks like glass. Is it print? It's what circuit boards are made out of anyway, I, know, I think I know that for certain. And we've got some... Some Tronxy build tack surface, what's that that is? We've got an aluminium heat plate, so that should distribute the heat. I will show you how to put that on later in another build video. And I will be using this as well. Just put that back in there just to be safe. Don't want to drop it. And now for the next layer, if you can see me clearly. Hope everybody's still watching. Right. We have the blue trim that goes around the 2020 extrusions. Because I've got to remember how to put all this back in the box so I don't lose anything. We have the idle things on the edge. They've been cut some. Which that's not very good. You seen that? Look at that build, look at that build quality there. That looks totally crap. That have to be fixed. Let's 
check another one. Looks like that one's just the same. That'll have to be fixed. What do you expect from China when you package it all for me? We have a metal mount, which metal bracket on that one. I suppose it has to be, because it's sold in the Z photo, which is quite heavy. We have another one. Look at that, it's not even attached. Could have lost that. The new one's not even mounted properly. We have the, the metal extruder idler golden type one. <coughs> what else do we have? We have all the bed level screws, all the other hardware accessories and springs. We have the other rest of screws in there as well. These are okay, these are okay packaging. We have the slotted T-nuts which ones you just put into the extrusions and twist the screw and it turns. I don't know what them are. The rest of the other things. This one's not a 2020, this is a 2040 extrusion. They've been tapped at the end on that side and tapped on that side. It's got a bit of glue on it. We have the cable management, also the, the belt, which I'll be upgrading anyway to a no type belt because these belts aren't that good. <coughs> we have this is the upgraded version. This is the trunk, see, touch screen, not the normal one. And we also have on this one a filament run out sensor on there which is it's got a 3D printed bracket on and then that one it's just a cooling fan for the circuit board we have the USB and micro SD so we've got all the files on there one End stop switch. The reason why I've only got one end stop switch because we've got auto bed leveling on this. This build video is going to go quite fast. We have the auto bed leveler with the Bowden tube, cooling fan, we've got the Cable management, drag chain, all the things are all labelled <coughs> on there. I mean, me, it's camera woman. <laughs> we have threaded rods, just like the process style ones, which should make it nice and smooth. Is that the final? Is that the final one? Final layer? Is that all there is? <laughs> yes, that's the, that's the final layer. Just the rest of the ones are just the bed holders and that's it. We've got some bearings, some more bearings. Maybe uh, brass nuts for the the bed level there, we've got the bearings in there, the rods, of course we've got the other, other tubes as well. So two two step of motors and the rest of the aluminum tube. Thanks for watching this YouTube video. Keep subscribed. If you haven't done already please click that like button and hit that bell and stay tuned for the build videos. Hopefully it'll be part one of Chunksy if anything, anybody else wants anything in the description below, I will put the link for the 3D printer what I've got today. Hope for, hope for everybody's okay and high five.